in the Ugandan capital of Kampala, the usually bustling HIV AIDS treatment center is almost empty. Days after parliament enacted a controversial anti-gay law, according to staff, the usual daily influx of approximately 50 patients has dried up. Antiretroviral drugs pile up unused. A resident medical officer at the U.S.-funded clinic warned that new waves of HIV infections were forming as vulnerable people stayed away from treatment centers, afraid of being identified and arrested under the new laws. The LGBTQ community in Uganda is on lockdown now, he said. They don't have preventive services. They cannot access condoms. They cannot access arts. Under the bill which President Yoweli Museveni signed into law last week, gay sex is punishable by life in prison while aggravated homosexuality including the transmission of HIV is punishable by death. Until this year, the Kampala Clinic had been a beacon of success for the fight against HIV in Uganda, where 1.4 million people live with the virus and 17,000 die a year as a result of its ravages, according to the Uganda AIDS Commission. Now, when patients do come in, it's often out of absolute necessity. The HIV cases presenting has thus become more severe as people skip treatment. A U.S. official suggested that the law would reverse the country's advancements in fighting HIV AIDS. Backed by Ugandan Minister Dr. Jen Ruth Acheng Ocello, who responded that the government would ensure that the prevention programs would remain accessible to those that needed them. Nonetheless, the trend of HIV patients staying away from treatment centers is being mirrored on a national level, according to Mary Bongman, country director for the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, which funds the Kampala Clinic and about 80 other drop-in centers across Uganda. She said fear had increasingly been detailing people from coming in for treatment ever since the anti-gay bill was introduced in parliament in March. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.